Hey, hi, thanks for stopping by. Peter Watts Retrospect. And today I want to talk about my uh, Christopher Ward uh, Trident Pro 300. This is a uh, 40 millimeter case. Uh, this is a, It's a 300 meter diver. And um, actually first I'm going to sit here and uh, plug uh, my son's company as a partner that they started a, a gourmet ice cream company here in the uh, Orange County, California area. And um, if you're interested, again, if you're here in the Orange County area, they actually hand deliver um, uh, ice cream right to you. So uh, we love the support. And again, to scan this code here if you're interested and uh, learn all about them. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Um, today, again, we're going to talk about my Trident Pro 300. Um, and if you go by the, the title of this video, um, you know, the, the question is if this Christopher Ward um, Pro 300 can kind of fill my my Rolex and Mariner void, void uh, and I say void, not an itch, because I have owned three Submariners in the past, uh, the last two being a 166.10 in stainless steel, and and then uh, the last one I had a 166.13 two-tone, um, you know, the, the gold and silver, and uh, that was uh, in, in the black dial, not the blue one known as the bluesy that I think people are more familiar with, um, but both of those were, uh, you know, pre-ceramic models, and, um, you know, they had the aluminum bezels. Uh, they were a little bit smaller too than the, than the newer ones. They were like a 40 millimeter and it's a little thinner than what they make today. But anyway, I was dumb enough to have sold my 166.13 in 2019 for half the price they are today. Um, in those days, th those watches that I owned was my only watch. And, um, you, you know, I, I wore it pretty much 24 seven back in those days. Um, and then, uh, in 2022, I was fortunate enough to obtain another Rolex and I got this, uh, Explorer 114 uh, 270, which I've done a few videos on. Uh, great watch, great watch. Um, obviously, it's a smaller 36 millimeter case, but uh, I still have that tug in my heart, though, to have a, a some Mariner, haven't owned them before. Um, but uh, unfortunately, that when I got that Explorer back in 2022, it just kind of catapulted me into this whole crazy watch collecting uh, the hobby. Um, now this, this Trident I got about five months ago and I absolutely adore it. Um, as I stated in other videos, it is absolutely one of the best fitting watches I've ever owned. Um, especially if you consider it's a 300 meter diver, um, between the quality and fitment of this watch, I mean, for about 1100 bucks it is certainly one of the greatest values in watches today. And in general, so are all Christopher Ward watches in my opinion. And that's not really a subjective opinion. It really is objective because it, it's well stated about how Christopher Ward's just punch way above their price. You know, of course, aesthetics is subjective. So Christopher Ward's may not be for everybody. I get that. Um, but again, having owned three Submariners in the past, and, and, you know, and of course, you know, that's one of the most famous watches in the, the history of virology. Never mind, it's a Rolex. Um, and it would always be, there will always be a tug of my heart to own another. Um, now, I, 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 you know, I love my Explorer, and in some ways, I'd like it better than the Submariner. But no, it just it will never be a Rolex Submariner Mariner in the annals of watch history. Um, you know, if in fact there comes a time where I would be able to obtain another Submariner and, and, and hold on to my current Explorer, I, I really think that would extinguish my desire for any watches that I would claim I just have to have. You know, I mean, I'm sure I would continue in the insanity and start continue to buy watches, but you know. It's, you know, as far as having one that I just got to have, um, you know, if I obtain another Submariner, I, I don't think I would, uh, I think it would anyway kind of extinguish that. You know, why we need a zillion watches, I just don't know. It's, I guess this is just another form of addiction, you know. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this Christopher Ward. Um, these are, again, this is the 40 millimeter version. Uh, this one here, um, these are such a nice, nice thin profile and they, they do again just fits so nicely uh this one here th these are about 47 and a half uh, millimeters in lug to lug if you add the solid end links that they come with it's you know it mills and it, it's a mill end link that protrudes quite a bit puts it close to like uh, 52 millimeters uh lug to lug but the way they turn down so much it, it it does not it does not in any way fit like a 52 millimeter lug to lug watch that's for sure um these are again only 11.3 millimeters thick so again for a 300 millimeter watch it's pretty pretty outstanding uh this particular one it weighs with with the bracelet size for me it weighs 147 grams on the strap um 
I use a Salita SW200. Um, it has a 38 hour reserve. That's probably the, my least favorite aspect of Salita 200s are a great reliable movement, but having just a 36 hour reserve is, you know, just a little behind the times compared to some other, you know, newer movements these days. Um, this, of course, uses the light catcher case that uh, uh, Christopher Ward's getting pretty famous for. Um, you know, they have that very nice, really nice uh, brush sides, and then they have that little chamfering there that's highly polished. And um, then, you know, on the other side, on the crown side, they kind of have a integrated crown guard again that side is all polished and you got that, that nice brushing there. Um, and it's, these, these crown guards are kind of small. I mean, they, they barely cover the, uh, the, the, the crown. I mean, the crown is maybe 20% covered by that, but either way, it aesthetically looks really good. And uh, it's a very solid, very solid crown. The way it screws down and everything is uh, very, very good. Very good. Um, they have an exposed, uh, you know, exhibition case in the back exposing the, the Salita 200. Um, nothing, you know, extraordinary. It's they, they decorate the uh, rotor a little bit with their their wording, you know, with their name and uh, with the the twin flag logo that they have. Um, you know, let me get this in focus a little bit better. Um, these have uh, one nice thing about these Christopher Wards and the bracelets is they do have uh, quick release bracelets. Almost all their bracelets are like that. So it's a real quick. You pinch it and take that. You take that bracelet off, and you can be in a twenty millimeter lug with, uh, you know, lug width. You can put all sorts of different straps on these. Uh, myself, I really love oyster bracelets, so that's kind of what I keep it on. Um, and again, just talking about the bracelet, these are man, they are so good. You know, they got that solid end link here. They taper down nice and elegantly. And the the best thing about these is the way they have this little pull out extension, and you can sit here and just pull this and this has about a six millimeters like three different increments on this watch two millimeters each where you can adjust this as the during the day if your wrist, wrist swells a little bit uh so that's just outstanding and you know this is what eleven hundred dollar watch and i don't see why other watch companies don't do that they have a uh, screwed in you know single screwed in um links uh really nicely machined very flush to the uh to the links and on the other end too just really nicely done really nicely done. So these bracelets are just really another high point of these watches. Um, now, they, again, we got the, uh, this case is, a, is they call a light catcher case. They got that brushed side and it's gonna get, get in focused a little bit better. And that's brushed there. And then you got this little chamfering there that's nicely polished. And then you get to the dial and the dial on these is, you know, it's a nice lacquered finish. It's not, excuse me, you know, it's a nice, uh, uh, La yeah, lacquered finish. That's not really. It's not. It's a little glossy. It's not real glossy, uh, but they do black really, really nicely. Um, right now, the handsets. So let me just move the hands here, so you can really see this a little bit better. Um, these here have a dual. They do a dual. Um, they do a dual finishing on their on their hands, where they got the brushed and finish brushed and polished finishing on it, and it does a really neat effect on this. Let me get. Maybe even get a little bit closer here and see if we can see it there. But what, what happens is you can see at the tip here, it's kind of brushed right at the tip and then the rest of it's polished right there. You can kind of see how that tip and it, it, it's pretty neat. It really catches the light like the like the whole uh, indices do. These indices are, again, dual polish. They have a polishing and brushing on them. And if see if I can get it kind of focused in where you can really see these indices, because they sit there, they kind of glisten if they really catch the light right. And, and the, with this light, I doubt you're going to really be able to see it, but they are really spectacular to get them out in the, out the sun, and these things will kind of glisten there. Um, but really nice. It's kind of become their uh, signature, is this, uh, their sing their, the handset is kind of their the signature handset that most of their sport watches, dive watches, and Sealander, GMTs, and such have. And uh, it's nice. It's very nice. It's a uh, the hour hand's not my favorite part of the watch, uh, but I've, I'm growing really ac accustomed to them. Uh, they, Christopher Ward's be between this case now, the light catcher case, and this this handset is really has its own identity that they're they've established, and um, they're, and then you get to the bezel, and the bezel on this watch is just crazy, crazy good. I mean, I don't know, like I said, I've owned some Mariners before, and you know that's that's probably one of the best bezels out there, but. Christopher Ward just did an outstanding job on this bezel. Um, apparently, they even kind of recorded how a Rolex Mariner sounds 
and they really worked hard in trying to get that same sound. And the feeling on this is great. Um, it's like butter. You could have a little bit better purchase area on the coin edge of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, the bezel. Um, it's very thin. And at first, that kind of bothered me how thin it was aesthetically. But I've really grown accustomed to it, and it is again. It's just. It's, it's excellent. And then if you look closer, another beautiful thing about this is that inner chapter ring that they got right there. Um, that is dead balls accurate as far as the way everything lines up on it. And it, you know, lets you really get that, that uh, uh, bezel just in, the, in the, the perfect location you want to put it on. But just listen to that. It sounds so good. It sounds so good. Um, I love the touch of red. You got the automatic in red, and then you got the second hand um, that's got the red paint, and it is loomed. Speaking of loom, this is Super Luminova. Uh, it's the X1 uh, BLC1. It kind of has that blue tint. It is really by far the best watch I have in the sense of loom as far as how long it lasts. Um, I have one Seiko, and it might be a little brighter at first, but it doesn't last nearly as long as this does, and it's uh, definitely another strong point of Christopher Ward's and you know, Christopher Ward just really stays on top of their product and they, they just keep improving it. Um, you know, with their forum, they really listen to their customers and, and they do. They, they, they listen to their customers and as the months go on, they upgrade their watches. You know, this watch has now got better loom than they ever had. Um, it's got a better bracelet and they, they made them thinner because that's what people were asking for compared to the 600 meter tridents that they used to make. Um, so it's a great, great, just a great company that listens to the consumer and they respond to it and just just really make a watch that's quite honestly just they hit so so much higher above their price level. Um, it's, it's it's just a really great watch to wear. Um, it has the Salita. Now their specs they say they're like plus or minus twenty seconds. It's not even close to that. These things run, you know, they're 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 maybe five to six seconds fast a day. I certainly prefer watches that run fast. It's a whole lot easier to just hack the hand and you know bring it back to spec. Um, but yeah, these, these things are, are, are just really, really a good, and I'm sure going to be a very reliable watch. They give you that five year warranty on the movement. So nothing to worry about. And then again, the beauty of a Salita, yeah, it's not a high end in-house movement, but the serviceability, you know, the cost of servicing and the reliability in general is, is there for sure with them. Um, and it's just, just a, really just a, just a super, just a super watch. And again, you can see it back there. With the Christopher Ward um, logo on there with the twin flags and everything. So you focus a little bit better. Um, and these are just, uh, you know, they, they've got the, the quick release release uh, on, the, on the bands. So these are just, again, for an $1,100 watch, I don't know if anything really touches these in their quality. And, and again, the way this fits, you know, but very, very, very nice watch. And again, the main question here at this video is about is, does this watch fill my void? You know, not, not other people's voids. Uh, now, if you have an itch for a Submariner and you don't have 10 grand to spend on it, I would most certainly, certainly would not hesitate to buy one of these. Um, you know, where, where I've owned them before, it's, just, it's always going to have a little tug on me to, to have another uh, Submariner. Um, you know, but I've, and I, you know, because I let those get away, I don't know, there's a part of me that just wants to revenge that and get another Submariner someday. But... Maybe I'll come to my senses at some point and realize I really don't need it. Because, I mean, with this watch here, you can you could buy four of these and still have money left over compared to buying one pre-owned uh, Submariner, you know, talking about the, the pre-ceramic ones. Um, but, you know, these are just... Just I I don't I don't think anything touches them within their uh, within 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 their uh, in, within that price range I really don't, um, but in my case you know I just, you know to answer that question I don't know if I'll ever totally be fulfilled in this watch collecting if I don't acquire another Submariner um, that I know is I think that's a sorry statement for me to say about myself emotionally over a watch I mean any watch um, you know. But, you know, I feel like that until I'm blessed to have another one, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, uh, I'll, I'll probably always have that desire. Um, you know, what I should do is maybe get my priorities in life <laughs> in order, you know, to be honest with you. Um, but in most cases, if you are you know, a more emotionally stable person than me, I would say, uh, if you like dive watches and, and you love the Submariner type watch, 
but not a homage watch. You don't want a homage watch. It pretty much is just a copy of a Samariner. This Christopher Ward Trident Pro 300 will above and beyond fill your desires. It is absolutely awesome in all respects. I mean, I'll go on record and even say it fits better than my Samariners did. It's just that, it's just that kind of a watch. Um, the, the, the way it hugs your wrist and, you know, it's still fairly light. And, just, and the way the band is adjustable like it is, these are just, just outstanding, you know. But all I can say is, you know, perhaps I'll come to, <laughs> to my senses someday and, and realize that I don't, I don't need a Samariner, not when you have this. This is just a great, great watch. Um, highly recommended. I, I would uh, say if you're looking at this, don't even hesitate. And again, they make it in three different sizes, a 38, a 40, which this one is, and in a 42. So regardless of your wrist size, they can accommodate you. Um, but I would, again, just highly, highly recommend these watches. Again, for $1,100, I really don't think anything touches them. I really don't. And there's other great watches for 1000 bucks. There's no doubt, no doubt. But this year, you consider a five-year warranty and, and, and everything else and the way it fits. And, and you buy them direct from Christopher Ward. So they do, um, you know, they, they, they're, they're, they're not, they don't have that middleman to increase the price of them. So again, I don't think there's any watch out there for this money that even really comes close. I really, I say that, I say that pretty confidently. Um, but these, I mean, these things could easily pass as a two or $3,000 watch with no problem. But anyway, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And uh, Christopher Ward, they are just straight up really, really great watches. Thanks so much. I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks.